Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. I've gone and cranked the volume back down to where I originally had it because it's weird when I'm when I'm watching this afterwards, it seems like the game audio is almost a bit above where I'm, uh, the volume of me talking. But when I'm actually playing it, it's quite quiet in the headphones. I'm not quite certain as to why. It's probably some sort of weird something to do with the audio setup, I guess. But Anyway, we're ready to go. So hopefully I should be a little bit more above the music this time. Right. Uh, whenever investing in Tanin, there's a chance that relationships will form. They can be positive or negative. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're envious. covets what the other has. And plots to take it. They're envious of each of it. What? They're envious of each of his skills, or I have. So is it saying that my <laughs> my tank is gonna start? Taking War. aim now? Rewards what? only. Resignation. Well, let's see what we've got here, because the map's still kind of showing us here what we've got, so going this way there's a rough patch and a barricade and unknown stuff. If we go to the right we can get the watchtower and a candle. There will be some loathing along the way and we'll lose some armor, so that's to be taken into consideration. Um It's probably the best place to start, given that, uh, yeah, we probably we probably don't want to uh, be going into the unknown here. Hmm. So we'll probably do that. Um, now these have all got little exclamation marks above them. What have we got? Conditions. Relationships. Ah, okay. Envious with them. Neutral. Neutral. Everyone's neutral except them two which are annoyed with each other for whatever reason. Right. Okay. Seems good. I think we go... Yeah, definitely gonna go Watchtower, so... No one has any particular... The tangled trails ...preference down at the bottom. Torment. I can't imagine there would, given that you know, it's unknown or... Whatever, so. so that was the. What was that actually? Was that a hazard? Yeah, that was a hazard. Who will face the half remembered horrors of their past? Yeah, Shrine of Reflection. That's quite nice. Um... So, clever repartee and a poison tongue meant nothing on the battlefield. So, let's actually try... Um, hmm. Maybe we can get some better heals for the Plague Doctor, perhaps? If we do this... Plague Doctor. Chapter or maybe one. some more poison stuff, some the more blind student. abilities. Brilliant and bold, her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect upon her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body, of life and death itself, hovered just beyond her scalpel's reach. If only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness. Right. Before they got the mask, eh? So what have we got? Emboldening vapors. Target gets whatever that is. 
So that's a buff spell then, isn't it? And it was strength. Next damage. Next attack deals 50% extra damage. Yeah, but it'd probably be, be better for her to just, you know, hit them for full damage, right? Reliable information brings accurate insight. After all. If possible as well, I want to try and destroy as much of these boxes as we can as well. You might remember these like have a chance to give us stuff. Right, watchtower. We have scouting. Okay, I've got it, you can give me control of the map now. Right. So we're here, we have a choice of an assistance encounter. A creature den. Um, creature parts reduces loathing. Um, so we would gain loathing from going there, but then we would lose loathing. We could also then gain some candles. Because I'm just thinking otherwise we're going to be losing wheels and armor and all sorts. Um, so they reward us with currency. Hospital. Um, I think we might go Creature Den. Let's see, a that's the academic study, so we can get a special trinket. Oasis, shrine, Creature Den. Where do we get to the layer? Ah, so we could go through this cache of supplies, a Creature Den, this Oasis, which should help with stress by an academic study and this creature then. Right. So we'll start with the creature then. And both of them didn't want to go that way but stuff uh, tough stuff you maximum more consumes Confession boss plus 10% max health, flame minus 10, plus 2 stress. If it fills completely, they will stir on the mountain and dire consequences will result. In addition to an immediate negative effect that is different for each confession, the boss will also gain a HP buff that will make them tougher to defeat. Seek out fights to reduce this before it happens. So is that reset now? Oh. Only the next denial. Plus ten percent max health now. Right, so we have to stop it hitting max each time. Right. We aren't calling the ground folly. I'm losing the last of my life, what for? Favorable detain, unknown numbers, not worth it. So we can lose 15 flame, 10 fame, or we can uh, I guess that starts a fight. Here we go. Into the creature, then we go. Right. These, yeah, have an enormous amount of blight resistance. But, they don't have an enormous amount of health, as you can see, even just the... I knew that was a crit, but... Just a few daggers will get them. If I remember correctly, the way of dealing with these in the previous game, these types of enemies are always bleeding we wanted to do. Not that we really have any bleeding abilities, but... Now this has got a little glow over it. Is that because what's his face is envious of the skin? It may well be, you know. Ounce of prevention, let's Oh it buffs all of them. Ah very nice then.
Oh, damn. So, yeah. They munch corpses. Kill the second one. Can we kill the last before he eats a corpse? I might be able to just destroy the corpse. No, we can't. Oh dear. Is he just fully healed? Now he gets 6 HP. Ooh, block plus, and he gets 2 of those. Christ alive. Let's bolster. There we go, that'll de stress him. Ooh, that's not good. They've softened him up. Um, yeah, these are like 60 blight systems now, it's ridiculous, there's no way we're getting any blight, uh, any blight through there. Poison will not be answered here. If we had bleeding, there's the possibility, but, yeah, and we haven't got a, we've got a regular stab if we move the plague, uh, plague doctor closer, but, nearly got that in there. Incremental. By the way, creatures, what's this trying to tell me? Uh, fair out the cook to be in there, put the put a fierce defense, but rare animal parts fetch attractive rewards from innkeepers desperate for delicacies and weird ingredients. Right. Okay. Oh, and blessings, it looks like they can give us blessed skills. Uh, the skill will benefit the relationship partner, okay. Uh, negatives have curse a skill with each hero. When used, they negatively affect the other partner. They're also locked into the equipped skill bars, reducing their tactical they all the same. Ah, so they can't swap these out then. Now let's try and finish him. He's got... Oh, these have... Very high death blow resistance. Yeah, but not high enough, it seems. Right. Need to get rid of these uh, blocks. It's not going to do much, we're not going to get the blight on it, but better than moving the play doctor up and shuffling about, taking turns doing that. We'll just brute force through. Finally lost it. Soldier up to critical health. Yep, there it goes. Achievement unlocked. Don't make me turn this coach around. <laughs> yes, everyone, get along. Come on. It may actually be worth. Yeah, it's, it's worth as actually. Letting them uh, heal a bit now than just going straight back to the coach. Oh dear, it's not going to go. Surely it can't get much bigger. Alright, so there's not like a third version of it, but just like heal and get some block and so on. We're back at Death's door with him. There we are. Simple variable. Easily resolved. Ah. There appears to be more of them. I kill the eaters at the back first, because these devourers Quite will just get like block fatigue. bonuses and healing from their corpses. The ones at the back, however, ooh, we should definitely we'll use a weak attack to eat up that block. See if we can maybe kill them both quickly after each other, perhaps. Let's get an ounce of prevention on everyone again. Collaboration confers advantage. 
that. Right, they're all gonna take a turn afterwards, yeah. So let's not just kill them quite yet. Um, or Damon, what's this? The closer you get to a mountain, the greater the chance the enemies you will encounter will be ordained. That gives that enemy extra power. The exact effects are different depending on which confession you are currently attempting. Getting munched on. But, now we should be able to quickly finish both of those off. Got one. Let's get that one at the back. This one the enemy weakens. Oh, we got the blight. Hell, another hit on him, and he's gonna go down. They're not even eating the corpses yet. Lovely. Oh, we're well, weak so anyway. Brows, yeah. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion Absolute takes hold. time. Um. The tag has to be below half health for this to heal them. So we should wait until they're a bit more injured. That blight dwindles. is really building up on them now. They meant to have really high blight resistance as well. Um, just out of curiosity, on yeah, 30% resistance piercing effect. So we could maybe do a tracking shot with uh, our bandit person here, with our highwayman. Do a track, do an aim tracking shot. Mind you, we can't do it on the front row. But if we do get a chance to, yeah, do we, might be something to keep in mind later on. We could do that, then hit them with the blight, and that should allow it to land there. So we'll have a combo, we'll have a combo token on them. So, things to consider indeed we've got there. Might be a nasty little move we can do with that. This is the one that had that uh, wait, ordainment or something. Yeah, they've got a little crown icon here, haven't they? Hmm. It doesn't let me see what it means. I might bring up their... Oh, there we go. It's going to start eating. This attack deals less damage, takes more from the next two hits. Have to get a little bit of that weak, and there we go. Keep hacking at him. Is health below 40 yet? Um. Twelve of mm, it's not, is it? No, it needs to be. It needs to be a little bit lower. We need to de-stress. I'm beginning to realise. Calculated generals in. But a welcome one nonetheless. Nearly got him. <coughs> we take our moves first. Right, uh, go. 
point. There we go. A spooky slice ignores a bit of death blow resistance. And it's the second hit, which means the first one knocked it down a bit as well. Burning brightly for Congealed all the slime. See. Deliverable. Deliver to the inn to gain minus three stress to the whole party and one. Is that mastery? That token. So it might be. So we might be able to upgrade a skill or something, right? Interesting. Right, we need to heal. <laughs> right. Well, we're not dead yet. So there's that. Right. So this is the academics variant, so we've got and we've got a candle of hope or whatever it was. Forgotten. Nothing like tumbling a a lock to soothe the mind. So it can get trinkets and food, or foods and quirks. Best not dealing with quirks, it's very much a mixed box. And they're gonna get an, a random quirk anyway, so it, we'll, we'll go with this. On apply on crit, 15% chance to instant kill. Ineffective versus bosses. Tin delicacies, in item, food, one target. Plus 30% max HP until the next in. Plus 10% to all resistances until next in. Very good. Who is more likely to get crits? Um. 15% chance, 15%, 5%. Okay, um. 10%, 15. I think it's probably gonna be a. Yeah, it's gonna be a highway man, isn't it, really? I mean, we can look at this, but yeah, yeah it's very low. Um. Let's pop that on you. Um. Drop that on you, I guess. Uh, right, interesting. Okay. Stage coach has been to look a little bit full. Um, we got a barricade and then oasis. That should be nice. We could do with the oasis. These are usually easier fights, so let's cross our fingers and hope that it is. Well, that doesn't look easy. A ghoul. Interesting, okay. Ah, Let us take that's a how you can... look at the thing. As repulsive Alt as it is. Look in. Okay, okay. Set the child. Uh, carve the toy. Bell the tree. Cool. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. So it's very resistant against stun, debuffs, and movement. So it's hard to knock him around and stun him and debuff him. This guy as well. The, the big ones do tend to be more resistant to stuns and movement in general. His weakness is definitely burning, and then bleeding and blight. Whereas this guy is not particularly strong against anything, in terms of bleeding, burning and blight, so... We can probably fell both, fell both of them with just status effects, to be honest. Um, if we do this, it'll get rid of this block, Lethality as well as, yeah, do a nice bit of damage to the front unit as well, so... Quite nice. If we get some noxious blasts on this guy, and it should, yeah, start blighting him pretty badly. Um. <clears throat> get that 
on. And just basically keep pounding into them. Um, I think we want to remove some stress on these. And we can get some block. Let's see how we're say. I've got a feeling that the duel, if I vaguely remember from the first one, they had this like. I was going to say a howl move or a roar or something on those lines that was particularly nasty. Get that block gun again, we're still doing a nasty amount of damage to this guy. Um, right, he's basically gone. Um, Ah, so does the blinding gas, not only blind, but does that put a combo mark on? Oh no, I think it did something else, it did drop a combo on that. Again. Oh, it's just... Oh! Avoided that. Ow. So yeah, let's have a look at... What was that? So, target uh, combo. Ah, so it has a chance to open them up for a combo. Probably should just open them up for a combo. It's a bit crappy otherwise. Um, we'll get rid of that block again and yeah, chance of killing that guy. The unrelenting we application of violence yields morbid games. Gold toss, there we go. We've got a bit of stress on that. He's going to melt down. But it's resolute. There we go. We got the good result. Achievement serenity now. <laughs> We've nearly got him. We can just move force the way through. Here's the last one left now. Almost there. But we don't have anything that can hit the back line. Just hit him with anything. Get him. Gotta stop all this horror going on. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Mastery. Uh, we've got some baubles, some relics. Right, onward we go. The Oasis. What will this do then? Five flame plus some uh, provisions and things. Um, that's de-stress, isn't it? I think we need to do that. So let's go with that. I honestly thought it was going to de-stress the entire team. Whispers. Bit annoyed that it didn't. Hmm. Right. The loathing festers. Creature then coming up again then. So we'll have another probably several round battle here. Sharpen your blades that we may properly excise our oh, portion. Oh shot. The oasis is much needed sanctuary, yep. When the flame gets low, things get significantly more dangerous. The flame. Uh, see the effects. Ah! Well, 
Oh, it's at 32. So we lost that mission to uh, keep it above 40. Um, he wants to leave. These two want to fight. Well, of course we're going to fight. Of course we're fighting it. We didn't come here to not fight. We came here to absolutely pulverise everything. Why else would we be here? <laughs> Ooh, spider at the back. Chance to dodge. Again, these attacks will just kind of hit everyone. Very nice way of just eating up the little dodge moves like that. Now, the blind here is unlikely to do much, so let's try and blind this bitter. That should, yeah, get rid of some of that dodge at least. Um, might be able to kill this weather now. Close, close. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Get this one. There we go. <coughs> oh dear. Let's kill the other one. Uh, let's kill this one before we we'll go for that spider then now. Um, Heal, lovely. And yeah, that'll get all these dodges and blocks. Right. Hold fast. Again, knows what lurks line, in the right. beyond. Very nice. We definitely want ounce of prevention. Honestly, I should use that from the start. I should get into the habit of it, especially against these types of fights. Luckily, they're not built much upon us at this point, but. It's not giving me a chance to get any more. This might, yeah, like I said, the damage here might kill him. Right. Let's try to stop this one from getting much more munching in. Let's see if we it. But we'll kill him before we get the spider now. Although... No, you know what? We'll just kill the spider. This is already at full. We'll not get the healing now. Right, we are 11, not quite below 25% unfortunately. Okay, nearly, nearly got it. Slice of the corpse, there we go. At the very least, it's eaten up a block. Yeah, and he's now going to most likely. Oh! They suddenly were in full, weren't they? If here's on Death Door, they will regain some health if you choose to pass their turn. This is a good way to quickly get a hero out of death, uh, out of death threat, especially if you have no healing items, so we can pass a turn. Right, and yeah, we know how death's door works. <coughs> right, let's take some absent. There we go. They are definitely below 50%, so there we go. I queued up. Just like that, we're back in. But we've just one more of these to clear. Though, if it's like last time, they'll probably be around two to all this. Good 
Got him. Yeah, round two. All spiders this time. They've got dodging. Maybe some dodge moves. Right, okay. Seventy-five percent chance to dodge. Yeah, dodge this more. <laughs> through the fatigue we should probably as well if we get back to um, our mana times yeah we probably want to get him to uh, reduce his stress uh, bolster we probably your want to do a bit of bolstering and apply it judiciously and next time we get to the plague doctor oh well, resolute again We won't always be that lucky. Hmm, we've got a very high chance to dodge all these. Need a bit of a flurry of blows, really, to win from this. Right. Fancy now. I will de stress them and now. He loses a bit of stress, and they lose a bit of stress. And he gets uh, he gets some block. Incremental. But deadly all the same. Keep hitting them, they're nearly they're nearly done. Steady yourself. When it counted. Agony by accumulation. Oh, you are kidding me. Please, I can't put the ounce of prevention on because I'm constantly running agony. battlefield medicine on those two. Because that's all that they're doing. They're just constantly poisoning the same character. They're really trying to focus her down, clearly. Right. And all of these are being buffed, haven't they? All that little crown thing under them. Right. So. Ordained. This enemy is blessed by shackles of denial. It doesn't tell me what that does then. What can we learn upon closer inspection? But they're really nasty. Right. Give him a good smack. Good hits in. Oh, he's taking a lot of poison damage. Ugh. They've not even got dodges on at the moment, and they're just still dodging everything. It seems. Cooperation is the key. Right. Way so too agile. Unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Damn the spiders. It's definitely something to do with that buff that they've got. It's got to be. One left. Forward. And effective. Now we annihilate him. Oh, that's gonna be. 
That's some nasty blight. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Right. Get bolster on. We're gonna de stress this time. There we go. Messy. But effective. We are the flame. Burning brightly for all the world nice. to see. Excellent stuff. So we'll get a reward at the end if we get if we get there. The loathing whispers. So there's a supply cache and then a layer. We'll lose some armor going through here, but we can take one more hit on the armor. Um our protection has been stripped to its last. When it's ambushed and depleted to nothing, the party must fight off a group of opportunistic enemies while at a disadvantage. Each combat round, one hero will be randomly chosen to, to assist in repairing the stagecoach and won't be able to act normally. Um, you say it didn't ask me which way to turn then, but yeah, I guess. We're not at that point yet. The Wayne Rider worried, waits, then. eager to ply his trade. Uh, each hero in combat starts with lock, gain on miss. Uh, if first in turn order, we get weakness. If we miss, okay. Inventory slots and a bunch of stuff. We've got some. Oh, we can remove debuffs on with those. Yeah, they're better than just say like some of it removes something specific. Okay. Still a bit of inventory management then, so range sounds he's got a grenade. Got that, got the bandages. Let's replace the grenade with the medicinal herbs. Be a better idea. Um If the inventory becomes full, you can discard less important items, drag them off the inventory or shift click. They cannot be items cannot be sold anywhere, so throw away what you don't need. Is we need a trophy to be able to go through the mountain, don't we? We have to have at least one, so we're gonna have to clear a layer at some point. They're just ripping off the Bandage now. Well, looking at the plastic now. Stumbling and grasping. Right. Don't of what die in this fight too much. It's just a simple one. It's no rules and that. Let's just try to you know, stay at a reasonable health threshold. They've not got much blight resistance. They've got a decent bit. They've got quite a lot, but they're very vulnerable to. Bleeding all of them, but we don't do bleeding, so just plow them. These two in the middle are buffed as well. Got that ordainment thing, so try and deal with those first. A promising development. Stealth. I'm just gonna quit next time. Stumbling and stupefied. We will bolster and we will reduce your stress. And he's basically on stress management due to this. Um, Finish her off. Two. Oh, steady yourself. Ooh. The smallest variable 
can make all the difference. Resolute. We're getting lucky with that. It did not happen that often in the previous game. It, it will be, you know, maybe one in four or five times that would happen. Right, one remains. Shot. Let's get rid of some of these corpses. And make our way through to them. I'll probably uh, try to stress us out. Get rid of them quick. Still gonna hit him with a big turn there, so there we go. Excellent stuff. In this weighty gloom, a spark. I would like to have more health going into this, but it is what it is. Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. Arbalist, foot soldiers, and a cool front beast. First two have been buffed. He's the crown icon, so that's taken into consideration. Weak to fire. Not that we can inflict such things, but. Right. We probably want to get the guy at the back. Lethality writ large. Layers. Now, where regional bosses dwell. To reach a boss, you must first fight your way through two sentry battles. You may retreat after each battle, but the further you delve, the more you loot you will retrieve. Bosses have rare treasures, and they are the only source of trophies. Trophies act as a key to the mountain. Right. Let's get rid of these blocks. Uh, these blocks they've started out with. Or not. Apparently that ignored the block, I guess. Or oh, they must have had additional stack to block. I don't know. Ooh, light resistance gone. Oh, the, the light got on there, so pretty good. Um, right. Six, and he's nearly dead. He will be dead next turn. This Assuming is no the time to alter lands. Right. They don't seem to be the types to inflict stage Analysis effects. Is the natural prelude to action. This one can. So I don't think announcing prevention is necessary just yet from the Plague Doctor, but we shall see. They might not have anything better to do. Uh, a few good swings now to finish them off. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Soldier goes next. We are gonna to have to heal. Put the foot to that door. Right. Got one. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Got two. The work continues. Let's get an ounce of prevention going. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Yeah. Oh, 
quite gone yet though. Always had a meltdown this time. Not great. We'll heal up. And we've got him. We advance. Do we carry our ounce of prevention buff forwards? Oh, this one. Painful. In some battles, the enemy party will benefit from a battle advantage. When present, you will see the advantage icon in the top left icon of the screen. Now it's over to see what it does. Low flame makes it more likely, so be aware. Stun and death blow resistance. Oh god, this knight has 90% death blow resistance. Holy hell. Right, they are not joking when they say they have some death blow resistance. Um, right, if he's going to take less damage, what's this? Enables the use of several powerful skills. That sounds terrifying. We'll quickly dispose of this one with some light that will go through his block. So we should do that. Um, Let's not shoot one that's blocking, let's get this one at the back of our highway. Oh, he can... Okay, so he's going to stress us the hell out. Right. And the bleed. Ugh. Nasty. Heavy hitting, I'll give that. Focus this one at the back with her and the highwayman, and that might be how we get There we go. One down. Development. Let's use bandages. We could go out some prevention, or we could just heal him up. A calculated generosity. We'll heal. But a welcome one nonetheless. Might get him next turn, there's a decent chance. Well, that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Observe the subject On carefully, that. and you oh, and will discover boss. his weaknesses. So, counters if we're hitting. Um, right. And now we're vulnerable as well. Three hits and then Right. Give everyone some bleed resistance. We'll Collaboration be able to confers advantage. Mm. Not that it helps in any way. And it's still got the repost. And the counter. Oh. Ow. Ooh. 
Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. Thank God for that. So normally passing gives you plus two, but when you're nearly dead it gives you some recovery from it. Okay. Interesting. He's not got me fossil anymore, so it's time to just blight him the hell up. There we go, and now we're getting some build upon him. We've got a boss to face as well after this. <laughs> it will get worse. Squandered. Um, let's see, is 9 less than 20%? Um, ooh. I don't think it is. It must be so low. See, let me think. Four times nine, uh, thirty-six. Yeah, they don't have that much health. So. Oh, and this oh pick to face ignores block. That's nice. As does Phone Dagger. Ah, interesting. Keep that in mind in the future. But we'll still blight them the hell up. It's, you know, 12 over 3 turns, so a lot. In fact, yeah, I'm going to say it will basically. The unrelenting off. application of violence yields morbid gains. We need that trophy. Ooh, minus 75% trinket prices. Ooh. The boss then. He has retreated, undying, into a dream. And there he must stay. Ominous veins encroach from above. Tangled growth one. He's immobilized. Cannot be moved. Cannot move or be moved. Persists until the end of combat. Even 85. What's his resistance stature? He's very resistant to bleed, but light isn't bad. Burning is pretty resilient against. Um, so this will do 48. This will do 49. Tap root. Invulnerable. I see. Plus one forty-eight. Okay, because this has been up there. It's probably better to just shoot what we can. Right. We honestly need to just keep everyone's health up and give him a hell of a smack Turns. Thank God for that. Getting some good damage in now. Right, when we get to him, we probably want to just bolster. To really get that light going. 14 now over 3 turns. Find, constrict body and mind. Strangle 99 turns. Ooh. Not sure what it does, but it can be good. <laughs> Are they just not going to be able to take a turn soon? That poison coming in resisting that one, though. Right? 
Tags on eyes. Hmm. Ah, dear. No, oh, no. He's a stress dealer more than anything else. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Okay, let's keep that ticking over. There we go, back to three turns, 14 damage now. Perhaps oh, they have given their life. Really need to heal him. to heal pretty much everyone at this point. Um, right. Mm. Heal for 20%. Yeah, we're gonna have to. So they just keep passing turns now. Agony by accumulation. How do we get rid of it? She understood death. Ah. But could not defy it. Not great. So. It restricts you and then it doesn't go away until someone dies. 55 to go. 55 health. There's a chance we can make it. Driving in agony, but we can make it. Now we've been weakened as well, lovely. Um, An interminable conflict. Incremental. Um, but deadly all the same. So they're doomed to die. Forty three. Heal a bit. The slow suffering begins. It just seems like a DPS check, this one, more than anything else. He's so close now. Can take some there they remains can a foothold a out of this mire. Now climb. If we pass there, we can heal up. It's too bad we lost the plague, Doctor. But we'll have a look at this. It's one to have a look at it. Dead heroes remain dead for this entire expedition, but will be available on the next. Um, okay. Not the greatest, right? So we might be down to three for the rest of the run. 
It's not impossible, but it means that it's going to be very unlikely. And now, Ooh. the greatest test of all. 13. And they're all weakened because they're all in Death Star and everything is awful. Now we'll be down to two. We'll find it. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Just die again. <laughs> Gotta be the absent hunter. Finish him! Come on! How much death blow resistance does this guy have? Can have a look. Get a second here. Stop melting down! You've drunk so much alcohol. You shouldn't. <laughs> it should be completely just, you know. Honestly, I'll, I'll be honest, that probably would make a meltdown actually punch him, but if you just drank like three bottles of absinthe, you <laughs> probably would. Well, that's not good. Um, his death blow resistance is down to 20. There we go, we've got him. Creep and sleep. Achievement unlocked. For every miscalculation, <laughs> a consequence. Oh god. Deliver to the inn, we get four hope. Oh dear. Oh dear. The loathing abates. We've got 33 items of 20 that were allowed. Um, this was a good one. On crit, instant kill, 15% chance. Um, what's this? Bleed resistance. See, I understand how they work, these. Uh, apply to attack when hit, 2 damage. Game when hit, if speed is less than or equal to an extra action, 20% chance on. Getting that, okay. Oh, but that just allows him to keep healing. Damn, that's really good. Um, both of those are great for him. Um, mode gear, yeah, plus four percent positive relationship chance. Increased stacking for relics involved by twelve stack. Um, right. This point, um, so we need to discard a lot of stuff here. Um, combat items. Got some bandages. We there, 
Let's get rid of some of the ones I've not got complete stacks. Uh, I think we've got better trinkets than these now. Uh, we need rid of six more things. Um, Shard books, rich riches. We can get rid of uh, these. We've not got a big stack out of them. Um, um, five more. We've only got one of those. It's good, but right. Um. Times minus two stress. Lower speed. We can get rid of that definitely. Um, um, we can get rid of that. Which one of these do I want? Um, extra inventory, relationship chance, increases stacking for and balls by 12. I think we'll probably go for the inventory. I mean, we're, we're going to get rid of that because we, we can't sell these, as it says. We can't sell these. Um, so we should only need one. You know, we can increase the stacking of them. Yeah, or we could just have more inventory. How does that sound? Right, loathing, needless to say, is all the way down now. And we are on our way to the end. Right, what's this? Oblivion's Rampart. Is there the option to just leave? No. <laughs> right, buckle up, we are likely going to die. Oh my god, what is that? Are these two are bad? What is that thing? Hello, I am Death. Oh, hello, Death. How are you doing? Well, they've not got loads of blight resistance, so... Yeah, there's chance he... Okay, we can go with that dodge chance there and just give him a good smack. And now we die. We have little to no healing available, so... I will defend you on my free health. Almost as sure we're going to die. Oh my god, they're buffing. And they've blocked. Excellent. Um. We can pass him again. Oh, he's gonna maybe melt down. Don't melt down, just... I wanted to heal, and now he's gonna lose that health. Moron! Why? Useless tank. But they're buffing. He's got regeneration now. What? Okay. I believe to, and as well, I believe that below 25% health means it has to be down to 7. Because, yeah, 32 health that she's got. Well, 4 times 8 is 32. So, for it to be, yeah, and it has to be less than, so it would have to be 7. Ugh, yeah. That's the problem with this absinthe, it's, it's good, but you have to be so low to be able to use it, that it is practically useless. Right, blight to death now. Darkness encroaches. Well, that's not good. It's his turn next, so... Oh, he can't pass the turn to gain health. 
even though he's on Death Star, so... Yay! Don't know why it's suddenly doing that. Oh, he's, oh, he's randomly healed a bit, though. Unless it's on his turn. Now can we... No, we can't pass to heal. That's just apparently not a thing now. Right. Kill all the things buffing this guy, and then kill him. We're on five, we can use it. Get it down us. Activate dodge and super speed. That trinket we had that we put on that does two damage to attackers, it just killed him. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. He has so much health and he's just regenerating. Again, ah. on that terrible Get. Our guy has the ability to not die. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Right, we're going to have to crush this corpse to be able to get through to this guy at the back. Because we can't take this guy on while he's there. Um, well, we got blocked. Right, that's going to be a whole thing. Enter. Blighted? Yes, lovely. Right, so he's taking some damage in the meantime. At least. Right. Oh look, he's regenerating more damage than we can hit him for, per turn. We make it through this, we're back at the inn. We're nearly at the inn, we can get there. What will we do when we get there? God knows, but it'll be something. They are getting blighted. Ah, you didn't even put us to death's door and you call that a hit. Okay, we're gonna just start smacking this guy down and trying to clear the corpse to get to this one because they're gonna blight out now. Oh, just because you've gone invisible, you can, you can get you know, a boy being hit. Think again. Don't die. That's so much bleeding. At last, the battlefield has claimed its due. Well, we can take some absinthe now at least. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> here we go, um, how to deal with this, right, this will ignore block, or we can try to poison them, their blight resistance isn't particularly high, but we don't exactly deal loads of blight, we're probably best just picking them in the face over and over again. An interminable conflict. If we get low, just taking a bit of absinthe, it gives us some dodges. Oh dear, we're getting blind as well now. But apparently, we don't care, we're just gonna ignore that. Right. Dodge a few attacks, let's make it to the end here. <laughs> We're closing in. Ah. Once again, teetering Close. on that terrible precipice. Can we kill them? 
weakened. We can pass to heal. Miss, miss, miss. Ah. Told you it's more likely that that happens than anything else. Yep, there's the weaken. This has to not kill us, but it did. Death comes for the well, rich and poor there we go. Alike. So what's that? The third area we died in. On, over and over, until the truth is laid bare, and you Plus, are yeah, finally there was the free. Valley, the sprawl, and then we've died here in the tangle. While the flame still burns, hope remains. Let's see what we can get then. The intrepid coast, the timeless wood, the living city, the working fields. Unlock all heroes to gain access to the mountain. So let's have a look at what these do. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Inventory Find slots. any advantage. Stagecoach item. Increase the chance that candles appear at map locations. We have 38 to spend. Ooh. This is relics and baubles uh, when we start. When it tells us how many more to upgrade. Scouting chance. Less repair costs. Uh, relics when we arrive at the hoarder. Uh, free random item at the academic's cache. At the valley, and we get. Ooh, right. So just as we arrive at places, we get stuff, and we've got more scouting chance and things. Yeah, okay. Companionship. Orphan wolf cub pet. Unlocks pet slot in the stagecoach. The orphan wolf cub can now be found. Stress resistance per luxury gear item equipped. 10% positive relationship chance. Pygmy uh, pliskin can be found. The animated rabbit. Oh, that sounds a bit more gross now. Natural owlet. Uh. Unlocks filthy stagecoach kin. Uh, skin. Stressed skin, striped skin. So these are just, yeah, bonuses and skins and that when you've unlocked everything and you're just wanting a point sink. The Despairing Flare. It can now be found at the Valley Inn. It mounts to a stagecoach. Hope is a cool illusion. Negative relationship chance, minus positive chance, negative quirk chance in on meltdown negatives on resolute again a guaranteed crit corpse light um minus max health minus traveling heal combat with style of weakened on in item use if it's a food item we gain one speed and we get disease resistance until the next in when we use a food item uh the doom candle Traveling flare drain, loathing max reduced by one, loathing after reset. Uh, we still get one carry over. Hateful pyre. So these look like basically additional difficulty mods, essentially. I'm just curious as to what they are. So battle and bloodshed plus 10% max HP. 100% enemy advantage chance battle start. No heal between fights in layers. Ooh. Stygian blades. Less HP, worse, yeah, more negative relationship chances, less positive chances. Worse things on meltdown, yeah, crit on resolute, but the, the flame drains more, and the enemies always start on an advantage. Ugh, no. Right, the working fields. Spare so. a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Unlock items there. The living city. 
Ah, so this upgrades them. Uh, indelible trinkets can so this can be found and it's a trinket that's specifically for them. Road path. Long blank shot skills, give him the post. Rank is one, plus 25% damage. Rank 3, rank 4, and loses damage. Ah, I get it. Bonus damage if he's in the first position, less damage if he's otherwise. Okay. And we can see all the different characters as well here. The Bound Hunter, the Flagellant, the Vestal, Occultist, Leper, Jester, Runaway, Hellion. They cut the Crusader then. Uh, I'm trying to think what else now. There was the Crusader, there was uh, like a shield person I think that they added in a DLC or something after launch in the last one. Right, so that's basically buffing our characters. That's what it'll tell us here. Boons assist you on your journey, yep, okay, living city, unlock and improve heroes, oh we can unlock them here as well. Heroes have died, but you have unlocked additional hero classes, they will always await you at the next inn. The placements will be randomly chosen from classes not selected at the start of this expedition. New heroes have no mastered skills, each class can only replace, uh, can only replace once per expedition if you if enough heroes die, or you haven't unlocked any more, you may not be able to fill your party. Right. When a hero perishes, you have the option to carry their remains. To an extent, this honours their sacrifice, and you will receive candles of hope. We didn't make it to the inn. <laughs> right. That. Right, we can we unlock go. a new character then. So, we've now got a replacement character if we need them. The recollection. So this shows what we've got, doesn't it? Ooh. Just mark them all as being looked at, I guess. Okay. Heroes with memories are required. More memories are available to choose from when, illum when illuminating onto heroes. Recall memories cost fewer candles. More memories are available to choose from. You can unlock the ability to imbue heroes with memories. Each memory will remain while that hero with that hero as long as they are successful in their expedition. They can be used again in the next expedition and they keep their quirks Path can be kept or changed. Hmm. So that's for like if you complete an expedition, they'll come back here and you can like buff those heroes for your next run. Okay, so there's rewards for keeping them all alive if you can. Study I think what we want to do first. Of our kingdom. Find we want to get more. advantage. Yeah, we'll get more inventory slots. Um Increase the candles that appear on map locations. That just seems like a good investment for the Hail the vessel of your deliverance. Well, we are now at points. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. It's 15 to get that. Let's get ourselves a pet. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Um, and then I think just, yeah. Go all the way up here to the packing. These wheels are invested with noble purpose. Every rotation, blessed rest for the warriors of our cause. So, inventory slots, item slot, increased chance of getting candles, which, you know, we want to get that early on so that we can just get more uh, advantage from it. Wheel points, arm points, inventory slots. Okay. 
Right, pretty good investment there. It looks like as well these are all front loaded, so we probably won't take go through companionship up to here, it'll only cost 15, we can go through here for 35 to get all of these bonuses. And then they get more staggered out as you can see as we go along here. There have been 10 in between each here, whereas here there's only 5 candles needed in between each. And then it goes from here to requiring uh, another 15 to get that. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, there we go. Orphan Wolf Cub. Yep. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Once more into the maelstrom. That's going to do it for the episode, I think. Remains. And we will be, yeah, we'll be exiting to desktop here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll do another expedition next time. We'll start this off. And I hope to see you then for that, where we'll be... We're looking already a bit, quite a bit more kitted out. We'll be getting, we've got more items, we've got more things unlocked, more slots in our stagecoach, so should be, should be at least a bit easier. And if we do lose someone, we have at least one replacement waiting in the wings now, in case the worst should happen. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode for that. Then I'll see you then.